All right, we're recording. Boomerang Boy has a story. Go ahead. Yes, I have a story. Did you know the passage of time is like a million alligators? It is. The eighth graders were doing the right stuff to her nipples, all because she was shitting all over the bed, like a, clean the floor like a bad girl. <laughs> and all of these decorative pillows are the basic <laughs> suffering that per I mean, pervades all of existence. Why? Because that's how you figure out how to have sex with a dolphin. <laughs> <clears throat> Did you know Gwyneth, Pal I mean, Gwyneth Paltrow's opinions is like walking into a glass door? It eventually leads to Russian super tuberculosis and breastfeeding a 10 year old. <laughs> Which is mean, one of the side effects is an overwhelming variety of cheeses. <laughs> the all new Nissan Pathfinder with 0.98% APR financing is all paid for by a turd. <laughs> Did you know every ounce of charisma left to make Jagger's tired body is like being John Malkovich? Why? <coughs> Texas. <laughs> the only state where bathing in moon's blood and dancing around the ancient oak is legal because peeing into the girl's butt makes a baby. <laughs> Someone recently created a soap micro-rito. <laughs> you know... You know why? Why? Because they had a disappointing salad. I believe it. I... <clears throat> okay. Some guy said his dead son's baseball glove is full of the black half of Barack Obama. <laughs> That's a bit dark. Blowjobs for everyone! <laughs> Except the grammar Nazis who are also regular Nazis. <laughs> Covered in jizz. <laughs> Gives you anal fissures like you wouldn't believe. Did you know an interracial handshake is important news about Taylor Swift? It's like throwing a, any stones at a man until he dies. Because she has questioning obedience to crippling social anxiety. Poor Travis Kelsey. <laughs> what? She yeah. said poor Travis Kelsey. Yes. Uh, yeah, poor Travis Kelsey. He said being in a relationship with her is like ejaculating live bees and the bees are angry. <laughs> Beloved television star Bill Cosby generally has no idea what's going on. Why? Because it's total fucking chaos. Poor Taylor Swift. Mm-hmm. The color puce, aka <laughs> cancer in French, being me, led to a woman saying ejaculating inside another man's wife is like fresh dill from the patio. Fresh <laughs> dill from the patio. Not That's dull. Lee said I said dill. You said dull. Yeah. That boomerang boy finished. <sighs> Stop being a giant powdery man, baby. Cup me, me throwing around eggs because he had one forgettable night of passion with someone who has backward knees. <laughs> and also paralyzed from the neck down. <laughs> because that woman was wearing blackface. <laughs> you know, you can change a mind, me person's mind with logic and facts, but you can also use ass to mouth. Or. <sighs> But that's almost as bad as giving home. I mean, almost giving money to a homeless person, which is utterly stupid. You know, having been dead for a while, my first period was like a fate full of horse cum. <laughs> <laughs> it led to the me peaceful and non-threatening rise of China. <laughs> Kim Jong. That's yes, I heard that he was recently found injecting speed into one arm and horse tranquilizer into the other to finish off the Indians. Because that's how awesome I am. But you can find them down in Kensington, damn it. Nope, just Texas. What, is this what we're doing? Going around No. There? No, that's just my story. That's okay. just his story. You wanted to say his story. Wait, hold on, yes. hold on, let's hear it. Alright, you're all in a bar in a town. The town's Ivanstock. You're sitting around a table talking about the last score you hit. It was a big room full of gold. Matt turned to his brother in arms and said Gwyneth Paltrow's opinions then Ed turned stupid Ashley you spoke up and said hey what about the tiger that killed my father 
Okay. Oh, so now dark already. You spoke up. Some shit hot guitar licks. <laughs> Put them all in a because he's gonna shuffle. All right. Then the bartender came over with drinks. And you overheard one of the people talking about a cavern that's so dark that you can't see in front of your face. Boomerang boy steps up and says, This is almost like that one time I walked into a glass door. <laughs> His brother spoke up and said, We should go to this cave and get the riches with our trusty woman. <laughs> Blackface spoke up and said <laughs> <laughs> What did you say? A crazy little thing called love <laughs> Then her trusty cohort said Free ice cream, yo So they finished their beer and they walked out And decided to find the entrance to the cave they found it. They go in. The boomerang boy said, but I only have sticks, not boomerangs. I'm sorry to tell you this. It's my first period. <laughs> <laughs> then Blackface said, don't worry about it. It's okay. We all have. <clears throat> Sitting my balls on fire <laughs> and car wheeling to a wild. So we're all setting your balls on fire and then cartwheeling to Ohio? Okay. Sounds legit. Then they all enter. Boomerang boy has the torch. His brother right behind. Blackface and her friend is right behind them. Then a big giant vagina monster pops out and says... Russian tuberculosis. No, wait, sorry. Russian super tuberculosis. That's his fourth crow. His brother says... Back to Russia, you commie. Ejaculating into another man's wife. <laughs> no, all right, I'm trying to make the card make sense, like okay. add stuff to it if you have to. All right. Commie slut ejaculated. Ejaculate. Okay. Back to Russia. Commie slut ejaculating into another man's wife. No, no, back to Russia, you slut. I'm ejaculating into another man's wife. Like, say something like that. All right. <laughs> trying to make it make sense to the context. Okay. Then Blackface drew her sword and said, Cute boys. <laughs> <laughs> her trusty cohort said, The white half of Barack Obama. <laughs> what does he have to do with this? <laughs> By saying those words, Barack Obama showed up. Oh boy. <laughs> Boomerang boy. You're face to face with Barack Obama and his vagina monster. How are you going to defeat them? I'm not because I'm too busy breastfeeding a 10 year old. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, blackface. How are you going to beat them? <clears throat> going to a high school reunion on ketamine. <laughs> All right, Boomerang's brother. What would you suggest the course of action to beat these creatures? Nothing, because they've been dead for a while. <laughs> what about you? Getting shot by the police. I'm getting shot by the police. I'm surprised nobody's tried to draw a weapon or anything yet. But, well, I... All right, fine. All right, all right. But Ryan Boy draws his trusty stick in hand. And he screams at, at the top of his lungs. And then pelts them with an overwhelming variety of cheeses. <laughs> Blackface says, ooh, cheese. <laughs> and then she goes into a tirade because she doesn't know what to do and say other than these words. The sweet song of sword against sword and the bearing of mighty war beasts. Everybody drew their weapon and they're fighting. Only one can survive. What about you, Say? I survive because I have an inability to form meaningful relationships. <laughs> Why should you survive? 
Because there's an unbearable evidence that God is real. What about you, Boomerang Boy? You think you should survive this ordeal? Probably not, because I'm too busy throwing stones at a man until he dies. What about you, Blackface? <clears throat> a mouthful of... <laughs> a mouthful of potato salad. Blackface is dead from a mouthful of potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, you made me drop my cards. <laughs> you defeat the monsters, but you realize that Blackface is dead. You gotta bring her back. What would bring her back? Blackface! <laughs> Ancient Athenian boy fucking. <laughs> Cutting off Flamingo's legs with garden shears. So we have to wear blackface to resurrect blackface? You have to wear blackface and cut in a flamingo. Oh, okay. She's clinging to life. That ritual only helps so much. There's one more ritual you can do. What is it? Whatever you wish, mother. <laughs> Sucking all the milk out of a yak. <laughs> Don't look at me, I'm too busy finishing off the Indians. <laughs> Alright, she comes back. You continue down a dark, narrow hallway. You come to a lake. You hear rustling in the lake. There's some type of creature. You don't see it until... What monster comes up and pops up? Giant sperm from outer space. Then Boomerang says, ooh, I know how to defeat them. Just open my mouth. Yes, I'll just open my mouth and change people mi I mean, change people's minds with logic and facts. <laughs> Blackface, I know you just came back. What do you say about this? Blackface? <laughs> <laughs> Meaningless sex. <laughs> That's not going to work. No, meaning... The only thing that will work will be probably be... We go and have an unforgettable quinciara. <laughs> hmm. You defeat all but one, because one was too big to handle. How are you going to handle this one? By giving a face full of horse gum. <laughs> <laughs> My god, this story's getting weird. <laughs> by a thrilling chase over the rooftops of Rio de Janeiro. Or you defeat him. You can come to a chest. What's in this chest? The peaceful and non-threatening rise of China. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Ed the Warrior will name his sword once he receives it. <laughs> once I'm going outside at some point because of mosquitoes. <laughs> Blackface draws her bow and calls it, give the name of it, <clears throat> the bow's name. The power of the dark side. Sounds legit. <laughs> yeah. You draw, you have a staff. What is your staff's name that you found? Prince Ali, Fabulous He, Ali Ababa. <laughs> <laughs> You're not done yet. You go into a room as a big orc with one eye. As very, very horny. What do you do? Inject speed into one arm and horse tranquilizer into the other. <laughs> what do you do, warrior? I give him an in uninterrupted history of imperialism and exploitation. What about you, Blackface? Never having sex again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you told him you're never having sex again? Oh. <laughs> That'd Wait, who's, who's never having sex again, him or you? <laughs> so you were having sex with the orc? I guess. I'm so sorry, Mike. <laughs> what do you say to defeat this creature? There's exploding pigeons on the way. <laughs> that sounds actually awesome. Actually, yeah, that, that does. The packet shows up, it's exploding pigeons. But there's one problem, there's no timer. <laughs> what do you do? Show them the movie being John Malkovich. 
Activated by using Genghis Khan's DNA. <laughs> Alright, you gotta get a syringe of that, though. You gotta inject mm. them individually. Can you be able to do that? No, because of sudden penis loss. <laughs> <laughs> you defeat the orc. Then you come across a long hallway, dimly lit. A goblin shows up. And says, give me your money, bitch. I stop it by letting out 20 years worth of farts. <laughs> he kills the goblin, but boomerang boy. You're about to hear... You hear music in the distance. You don't know what it is. It draws you to a room privately and quietly. It's a woman. Standing there, naked, looking at you. Saying, please take me. She's a siren. How would you beat this siren? By giving her all these decorative pillows. <laughs> <laughs> Blackface hears a young boy cry. Goes to another room. Alone. In the dark. She doesn't know what to do, how to comfort him. All she can think of is doing... <clears throat> My boyfriend's stupid <laughs> penis. <laughs> <laughs> You, the warrior, gets pulled to another room. Sixty horny goblins are in it. How do you defeat them? A fart. <laughs> After all, I did let out 20 years worth of farts, yes. so I'm on a roll here. All right, roll. You go to another room. You see a half-naked Asian boy tied to a wall. How do you free him? This boy's in so much pain. Sports. <laughs> You all meet back up by a big pool of water. There's a lonely man, old man fishing. Talking about the good old days and the... Basic suffering that pervades all of existence. <laughs> and then Blackface stood up and said... <clears throat> Out of this world... Zongas... Bazoongas. <laughs> Automatically, she noticed the old man started growing boobs. That was an incantation to turn this man into a woman. How could you? And oppressed people with a virus culture did it. Do you think oppressed people did this, warrior? Who did this to this old man? Gave him boobs. The passage of time. I think it's this. I walk into the other room and say, Blackface, I am now going to call you from now on Blackula. <laughs> <clears throat> Boring vaginal sex. <laughs> I hear it's like a million alligators. <laughs> Just like my dad's dumb fucking face. <laughs> the dentist is involved. I generally have no idea what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Simply because I'm being popular and good at sports. Actual moonets with medical conditions and no super powers are at you. A whole new kind of porn. Yes, it's called figuring out how to have sex with a dolphin. And a whole lot of women. Alright. The that. haunting stare of a rocky child. <laughs> By saying that, Incant Jason. An Iraqi child showed up. <laughs> now he's mad and horny and pissed. Was he having sex with an elephant? <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> you called him away from that. She provoked the words. She said them. <laughs> Boomerang boy, how are you going to help this horny child? I'm not because that's how awesome I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how are you going to help him? I don't think I can because I grew up chained to a radiator in perpetual darkness. <laughs> Blackface. Blackula. Blackula. <laughs> Immortality cream. She sells some snake oil. What do you say about this boomerang boy? Ass to mouth. <laughs> what about you, boy? I don't know. I have moderate disadvantage. <laughs> Pain. 
<laughs> Alright, you defeat everybody there. You come to the light of the other tunnel. You see a new town. The town of people only speak one language. They only know how to speak one language, and not English. You never know what this is. What is this language? The secret formula to, for ultimate female satisfaction. No wonder guys can't speak it. <laughs> <laughs> Boomerang Boy figured out what it was. What was it? Crippling social anxiety. <laughs> Blackula. <laughs> you have to feed soon. So you find your first victim where? <laughs> getting, getting eaten alive by Guy Fieri. <laughs> so you found somebody getting eat a lot by Guy Fieri. You saved him, and then you killed him again. <laughs> That's brutal, yeah. And then I'm just being a terrible mother. <laughs> using Daddy's credit card. <laughs> so she's a terrible mother using your credit card. They make credit cards back in that day. Yes, because it's almost giving money to a homeless person. <laughs> I don't know. I've I've had way too much cocaine. <laughs> Blackula, you need blood. You better get blood. Slowly e easing down onto a <laughs> cucumber. <laughs> Not the type of blood I was looking for, but okay. Boomerang boy, you gotta help her out. Get her blood. Yes. Where, is the, where can she find good blood? By peeing into a girl's bed to make a baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she's healthy now. Everybody, you're healthy now, all right? Blackula, you're good. You're good. They go to the local tavern in this strange town. The bartender says, I have a self microwave burrito. <laughs> he says, really? I can sell you two for six. If you come with me, I have more in the back. Do you follow him? No, because the waitress is suddenly yelling blowjobs for everyone. <laughs> what do you say? You follow him. He's selling. I don't believe him just as much as I don't believe in giraffes. I say he's a possible Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody looks up from the table from their drinks. And notice the whole room is filled with... Muslims. That's the language they couldn't speak. They finally realized that there's no way out of this room full of Muslims until... <laughs> Neil Diamond's greatest hits. <laughs> what do you say, Boomerang Boy? How are you going to get out of the room full of Muslims? Well, they're not actually Muslims. They're grammar Nazis who are also regular Nazis. <laughs> who actually have common sense mean gun control legislation. I'll get out by the Mowgli gaze. There's something to know about you. You're a man. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. She plot. man. The <laughs> plot thickens. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so what are our names? <clears throat> Boomer Boomerang Boy. Warrior. Black 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 Black. <laughs> and apparently the man. <laughs> 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 oh wow, well, this is funny. <laughs> Alright, so you all escape with your lives, except for one little Asian boy who looks like he might be Muslim, chasing after you, saying, what? Let me follow you, I have unquestioning obedience. <laughs> he doesn't say much after that because he's getting a dry, mean drive-by shot. So. Then he's got a pizza guy who fucked up. <laughs> Alright, so, what do you say? Followed by a manhole. I guess he would have a... Another manhole. Mm. If he got shot. <laughs> yeah, but it led to him being paralyzed from the neck down. <laughs> well, the others are chasing us. They're all yelling at me. They all start by saying we want to turn the rivers red with blood at the infidels. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> all the single one. ladies. No. Yeah, that, that doesn't work. Okay. okay. Now you come to another town that's 
because you ran from that town. You must have ran miles and miles and miles to a dark elf city. The leader of the dark elves welcomes you in for dinner. Sat so you down at the table. You guys are having what for dinner? Texas. <laughs> they give me whatever I desire because I'm being worshipped as the one true god. Al's the perfect predator. The euphoric rush of strangling a drifter. Everybody gets that for dinner. <laughs> we all strangle you know, a drifter for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> then, after dinner, you're shown to your separate quarters. In your room, Boomerang Boy, is what? A woman bathing in moon blood and dancing around the ancient oak. <laughs> <laughs> in your room, Warrior, what is in your room? A mirror, because when I look in it, I see me, my reflection, which is a man who is so cool that he rides on a motorcycle. What do they give you, Blackula? Party Mexicans. <laughs> what do they give you, man? Going down on a woman, discovering that her vagina is filled with eyeballs, and being totally into that. <laughs> wow, that's just total fucking chaos. <laughs> the next morning, everybody wakes up with a hangover... Not knowing what happened last night, the dark elf came and said, Did you enjoy my gifts? I installed upon you last night. Well, if you mean, well, if you're asking if I enjoyed the color puce, then, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's an all new movie. It's like the French version of the color purple. <laughs> I don't know where they screwed up, but they gave me vegetarian options. I'm, I'm carnivorous. <laughs> Whispering all sexy. The unbelievable world of mushrooms. Seems like you enjoyed it. You seem pleased. He left the room. You guys are talking amongst each other saying, we gotta get the hell out of this place. This is crazy. We can't stand it here. Boomerang boy steps and says, I know a way out. There's gotta be a way underneath the castle. The dungeon. The only way out is by ejaculating live bees and the bees are angry. <laughs> What do you say, warrior? Well, since they gave me the vegetarian options, I have to go get fresh still from the patio. <laughs> what do you say, Blackula? Oh, yes. Our new buffalo chicken dippers. <laughs> no, Blackula, what do you say? A buttload of candy. <laughs> Alright, you guys make it way to the, the basement. You're on your way out. There's one thing stopping you. A disappointing salad. <laughs> yeah. And you have to finish this disappointing salad before you all leave. What do you say, warrior? I'm going to give this to the 8th graders. <laughs> that gave me depression. What do, you, what do you say? Well, I'm too busy watching the 8th graders be followed by beloved television star Bill Cosby. And you hear well, something. That's a dark turn. <laughs> <laughs> you hear whispering in the background. You all realize what that whispering is. You know you heard Damn that. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not. I wasn't done yet. <laughs> you heard that whispering in the background. You heard that whispering in the dark. You already know what that whispering is. You already know what he's saying. He's saying yellow pudding. Jello pudding. Jack the pudding. No, jello pudding. Who says jello pudding? The black you know? half of Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> and then this dude walks up. You should already know him. And he offers you a drink. Boomerang boy, will you take this drink from this man? No, because it's made with my dead son's baseball glove. <laughs> <laughs> would you take this drink, warrior, and drink from this glass that this man offers you? I'm not in the room because I'm doing the right stuff to her nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Will you take this drink from this man? No, because I scream, AIDS, monkeys. <laughs> Black, you love, where you at? <laughs> I'm in the bushes taking a dip. <laughs> <laughs> You're running out. I'm running out, too. <laughs> so, well, no one will take this drink. No one will. Well, I would, but I'd be get. I mean, but I'd be caught by the police and go to jail. 
And I'd be wearing glasses and not sounding smart. <laughs> no, well, see, the thing is, is Blackula, there's a man that comes up behind you and whispers in your ear, Jello Pudding, will you take the sip of this drink? <clears throat> Interspecies marriage. So I take that as a no. <laughs> <laughs> So, Boomerang Boy, I see you're sipping on a drink. You already took a sip of the drink. There's Rohypnol in it. Now, this man's going to have his way with you. There's nothing you can do. His name is Bill Cosby. He already mentioned him. He showed up. Sorry. So, now, how do you prevent this? By giving him whatever a McRib is made of. <laughs> what do you say, Warrior? Well... I don't know if this will actually stop him, but I could definitely try by shitting all over the floor like a bad, bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Blackula? Calculating every mannerism so and so as not to suggest homosexuality. And then he faded away, just like this. Frozen pudding on a stick. You know, Jello pudding pops is a winner with all the soapbox racers I know. <laughs> what do you say about this boomerang boy? I say it's like eating together like a damn family for once. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, warrior? I say this is just like a bass drop <laughs> so huge it tears the starry bolt and sunder to reveal the face of God. <laughs> what about you, man? I say, stuffing a child's face with fun dip until he starts having fun. How about you, Blackula? The best toquitos in the galaxy. And that's how you defeat a Cosby. <laughs> also, you shove the pudding pop up his butt. Who? Cosby. No, who, who did? All of you did. Oh. You sure it wasn't my worthless son? <laughs> <laughs> he might have been. I mean, mm. Cosby likes children. Where treasures uh, beyond your wildest dreams. <laughs> That's what he. The last thing he said before he died. <laughs> All because we used bullets. <laughs> what about you, Boomerang Boy? No clothes on. All right, Boomerang Boy. No. <laughs> Not you, Blackula. <laughs> Wait your turn. So. Okay, Blackula. We get it. You're black. You're entitled. <laughs> You're not that entitled. <laughs> Go ahead. Boomerang boy. So apparently I'm not wearing clothes now? <laughs> <laughs> Is it because I'm ripping a dog in half? <laughs> <coughs> what do you say, Blackula? For real. Now it's your turn, entitled fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no clothes on penis in vagina. <laughs> Alright, warrior. State your case. <clears throat> I don't know. This, this is all... Getting out of hand because now we have a horse with no legs. <laughs> what are we gonna do about that? Okay. Bring out the dead. Bring out the dead. How about <laughs> <laughs> a guardsman comes and locks you all up? You get put in prison. The judge will be seeing you tomorrow. You're contemplating what the crime was. What was the crime? All right, Blackie, well, what did you do? What was your crime? Ambiguous sarcasm. Sounds about right. <laughs> All right, Boomerang Boy, what was your crime? <clears throat> My crime was being such a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, man? What is your crime? Saying the safe word. All right, Warrior, what do you think your crime was? My crime? I'll tell you what mine card was. I'm in here because I unsheathed my massive horse cock in public. <coughs> but they told me I was such a big boy. <laughs> you all got put in front of the judge at the same time. They said you're being charged together. It's one crime, one crime only. And then he tells Boomerang Boy the crime was... Child support payments. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> The warrior said, hey, you can't charge us with that. The only person here that has a child is Boomerang Boy. And then he continues yeah. to give a story about... Hey, leave my daughter Gary out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Boomerang Boy keeps going at it because he has a constant need for validation. I have but backward knees. Leave me alone. <laughs> keep fucking, keep fucking. 
Besides, I'm not the one covered in jizz. <laughs> Is it all because I gave you a shiny rock that proves I love you? No, it's because you gave me anal fissures like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop crying and shitting and eating spaghetti. <laughs> You're just mad because I refuse to give you an interracial handshake. Wow, this sounds so wrong. <laughs> All because you have crazy opium eyes. No, it's because I have important news about Taylor Swift. Oh, you mean the sex com mean comment from uh, Neptune that plunges the earth into eternal sexiness? No, I mean the news is he's actually a giant powdery man baby. Oh, Morpheus? <laughs> no. Eggs. <laughs> hmm. All because I was smoking crack, for instance, huh? Yes, and it led to one for me unforgettable night of passion at the crack house. Oh, just like a dance move that's just sex. <laughs> dance move that's just sex. What do you think this is, a turd? <laughs> <coughs> Which just happens to be every ounce of charisma left in Mick Jagger's tired body. Stop being a bunch of idiots playing a card game instead of instructing like normal human beings. <clears throat> what do you mean instructing? Interacting. No, whatever, I said instructing. Oh, this stop being a, a pussy. Room. <laughs> you have to instruct yourselves in a meaningful manner. I hope you're getting tried by shot. Blackula. What? You're being charged with this crime. You have to speak up for yourself. Speak. Texas. <laughs> <laughs> That's your defense? Yes. It's almost as bad as that one time I fell down a manhole. Yes, he was a pizza guy who fucked up. I'm being worshipped as the one true God. With every ounce of charisma left to Mick Jagger's tired body. Again. Said right. that one. It's just like being paralyzed from the neck down. In this courtroom, I suggest that men shall be shackled and put in the psychiatric ward. You're just saying that because you don't find any more Cards Against Humanity cards funny. <laughs> no. That's your next boomerang. No, that's literally what it says. <laughs> your next boomerang, she should be put in a mental ward. You should be spending 24 hours with Bill Cosby. You just defeated. Just remember, he always comes back. So he's coming for you, and he's going to be your buddy for 24 hours. I don't want to be his buddy for 24 hours. I want to be buddies with party. I mean, with robots who just want to party. What do you think Cosby is? Someone who has a gender identity that can only be conveyed through slam poetry? I thought he was just shapes and colors. What's this? I will charge you with a crime you see before you. And Texas is a defense. Al's that Al's the perfect predator. You'll be put to jail for five years. <clears throat> because she has owls? No, because of mom's new boyfriend. <laughs> now, boomerang boy. You'll be sentenced with Bill Cosby together for twenty four hours. You have to write a full detailed report of what he tries to do to you. I will not because I'll be too busy me writing about how seeing things from Hitler's perspective changes Bill po I mean Cosby completely. <laughs> Warrior. You'll be put in a room full of robot chickens. What do you say about this? He gets well, I don't mind. They're my team of warriors. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you'll be put in the deepest, darkest hole with doors who want to have sex. I say the euphoric rush of strangling a drifter is cool. <laughs> That's your defense? <laughs> <laughs> Friendly disclaimer. The remainder of this podcast will have you feeling like you're nine years old and watching two whales fuck the living shit out of each other. You're more than likely to get offended at the thought of a chimpanzee in sunglasses fucking your wife. That's a one-way ticket to Gary, Indiana, home of a hopeless amount of spiders. Freundlicher Haftungsausschluss. Der Rest dieses Podcasts wird Ihnen das Gefühl geben, als wären Sie neun Jahre alt und würden zusehen, wie zwei Wale sich gegenseitig die Scheiße aus dem Leib ficken. Du wirst höchstwahrscheinlich beleidigt sein, wenn du daran denkst, dass ein Schimpanse und eine Sonnenbrille deine Frau ficken. Das ist ein One-Way-Ticket nach Gary, Indiana. Der Heimat einer hoffnungslosen Menge an Spinnen. Descargo de Responsabilidad Amistoso. 
El resto de este podcast te hará sentir como si tuvieras nueve años y estuvieras viendo a dos ballenas follarse entre sí. Es más que probable que te ofendas al pensar que un chimpancé y gafas de sol se follan a tu esposa. Ese es un boleto de ida a Gary, Indiana, hogar de una cantidad desesperada de arañas. Alright, I can put serious consideration in the charging on you, the judge said. Until Blackula wiped her face off with a wipe and said, What the fuck? We're all white. You can't charge us. The judge was misspoken and said, Yeah, you're right. You guys are all free. <laughs>